Hello there, my name is Lanius and welcome to another uh, nerdy video, I guess. Today I'm not going to have uh, some that defined subject, but this is something I just thought about today. As you know, maybe I told you or showed something anyway, I'm using i3 window manager on my system and for a while I was using a desktop environment, uh, first it was KDE, then GNOME and I specifically didn't want to go to uh, a window manager, I mean i3, because uh, I wasn't really even thinking about switching to any other, but I was really hesitating to do this because I just knew that uh, there will be something that would bother me, and then I will have to we we'll have to just fix it. So it's not that something is broken or whatever, but there will be some little, little tiny detail with something with usually something just aesthetic. And it would drive me crazy to the point that I would either switch away all altogether from something or I would need to um, let's fix it. So, <clears throat> what I had been doing uh, today, let me show you. So, here is my file manager. Uh, it's Tunar. And the thing is, <clears throat> all this transparency here wasn't there before but the problem was that I have this GTK theme that has rounded corners on menus or some pop-ups or whatever and I discovered I mean I've seen it before that it wasn't looking that nice before because these little corners had a black triangles like here so I started digging around what's going on so so my guess was maybe maybe I it could be fixed with Pycom so I, I've looked around, I, I reinstalled Pycom a few times from other, uh, from other builds, but in the end it seemed that all the Pycom functionalities, even this you know, let me show you, like this blur which doesn't work there because maybe of course it doesn't work because I want to show you something but let's go with terminal so you see the background is blurred so there's transparency and it's blurred so all of this is in the base PyCom also the rounded corner corners was in the base PyCom but when I enabled the rounded corners, then yeah, the rounded corners started working after some adjusting, started working right here. But the rounded corners were also here. So there's really a little uh, border on every window. So it was getting cut off by uh, by the rounded corner 
so to fix this i would need to have really really big border around a window and i didn't want that or don't have a border at all so i've decided okay so i if i won't have a border i want to have some you know distinction which window is is focused like here you see the window that is focused is less transparent yeah <coughs> But, there was another problem, because the blurred background was also on the rounded corners, where a corner is right now, so... <sighs> for a little moment, I was thinking about a non-solution, kind of, because I thought, okay, I have the uh, Phantom Team set up, so... I will just switch from Tunar to PCMan FM, the version from LX Cute. So it would have a nice theme without rounded corners. So there will be no problem with that. But but it, it, it's not the only application that has the menus, right? So, uh, also, in the meantime, while messing with all this transparency, I discovered that I actually can make the i3 bar semi-transparent with this blur, with, without messing too much with, you know, background color or something, which I would normally need to do without using Pycom. So, I was fixing one problem and then I, I've seen something and thought, whoa, that looks kind of cool. So I started messing around and then you, and you now see that I don't have these rounded corners here and I have the borders, but I kept the, this transparency changing. So, what I finally did... was that I find... Uh, oh, another thing. When I was setting up my i3, even though I, as, as I already said, I was really hesitating to do this, I wanted as little, you know, custom configuration as possible. So, I just grabbed this configuration file from somewhere and... I didn't really modify anything in it, at least uh, until now. So, so what I needed to do was I enabled this corner radius specifically to fit the um, the radius on these drop downs in this uh, in this GTK theme. But I also wanted to uh, not have rounded corners on like <laughs> anything else. So at first I put some uh, some window classes which I would probably don't need to keep here anymore because I have all the window types put here so I don't have rounded corners on anything except the menus. Of course, this fragment of configuration is totally redundant because I disabled the shadows because I don't really want them and they sometimes just mess something. So that could be removed, but I keep it. Maybe someday I would need it or whatever. I mean, it's everything a Git repository, so I could just find it if needed, but whatever. So another thing. So since I already set up this transparency and I decided I really like it and I want to keep it. <laughs> so the problem arise that this is this is Vim, right? And 
normally without Pycom it would have a solid background because that's that's the color scheme that has it and with disabling it it just wasn't I didn't like it let's say it like that so but as I have a kind of custom class um, added for alacrity which starts uh, Neovim for me mm. uh, I could make some custom rules here so a uh, really 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 little transparency on the Vim window and a little bigger transparency when it isn't focused so it's nice it's still readable and I liked it but no problem will be that Alacrity itself had a transparency setup, so it was uh, really more transparent than Vim. So if I would start Vim from Alacrity here, it would look different. It would have uh, just other um, other level of transparency because it doesn't it wouldn't have this vim class so in the end i've disabled transparency in alacrity and just added another opacity rule i also added as you can see to some drop downs and other things also to rofi which is not that clearly visible here but let's switch to another desktop maybe Let's close that. So here it's pretty visible that it has this transparency. <coughs> also, I was going back and forth with the look of the i3 bar. Uh, because I really liked how it looked uh, in LX panel in my LX DE video, the active uh, windows, the you no know, task bar or whatever, but the active windows uh, had this uh, bright, uh, bright highlight, which I actually kind of still kept uh, for tabs. As you can see, the active one is the bright one. So I've made this, uh, some of the blocks here really bright, bright color, like like the one in the top, uh, I mean, uh, like this, right? But with transparency, it usually looks best with the darker background so <coughs> started thinking and a little meddling with my i3 blocks configs and scripts which are already a little convoluted and they actually are the i from i3 country repository at least most of them but they are quite customized And I needed to customize them further. So, so yeah. So as you can see, I've spent really quite a while changing shit here. And it's kind of love hate, I guess, for me, because I would really like to not do it. But also, I really kind of like to do it. Ah, it's weird. Anyway, what was, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I had to change the bar. And I think it looks pretty nice. And hopefully, I won't be changing anything in this setup for a while. <laughs> 
and maybe maybe I will release my dot files which I partly did but I'm not really sure about releasing the whole dot files but I don't know I I keep thinking that they're quite messy <laughs> well but if I'm showing you all of this, I will show you what else I, nice things I have here. So, <laughs> anyway, mm. have some windows open. So, okay, so I have the window name here, as you can see. If there's no window, it's just i3. And it's a little script I actually created to... to uh, to 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 show the name of uh, the focused window, right? So, but also I thought, you know, it is a tiling window manager, so I I guess I should never use mouse here, but sometimes I like to use the mouse. So it's also nice to have something to click on, right? I usually start programs from Rofi anyway, but. I've made some of, actually all of these elements clickable, so here it opens Rofi with a list of windows, which I can switch between, like as you can see I have OBS here, where I'm recording, and the Alacrity window on the other workspace, and, and Vim here. But okay, let's go back here. Another thing, the volume. And it is really most useful program ever, I think. I mean, I guess you can do all of this in Pavu control, but but for some reason it's simple for me to do it here. And you really have everything everything here. I had, uh, of course, I had this pipe wire thing when some default uh, inputs outputs got messed up, and I just were able to quickly fix it from this program, which is Pulse Mixer, which I haven't mentioned. But anyway, it's very useful. Also here, I have Tunar opening the root partition which I don't know if I ever have actually used other than to check it works and here is the processor and memory so both of these open just bit up and, and for some reason I sometimes have to click two times to open this but as you can see nice this actually opens the power manager settings because it's of course battery, right? And this thing is actually in the modified uh, default Endeavor OS thing, which allows me to switch power profiles. So as you can see, I have performance right now. It's pretty handy. I mean, I have some. I have some. Uh, keyboard shortcut for this but yes I thought I already forgot it because I usually just click now I had this here which is probably not a good thing but anyway another thing date and I have this little thing called orage or however it's pronounced it's like XFCE's uh, calendar program I guess and what is really weird to me, or maybe it's just standalone, I don't really know. But what is really weird that it isn't in the Arch repository, so I had to build it from AUR. While it's just there on, on Debian and Ubuntu and whatever. And the last thing, the clock, it's P-clock. 
which is more uh, as you know i didn't really know what to put there so i found some fancy terminal clock and that's that but it has some features like a timer which i actually have used so it's nice when it ends it shows you the mm, 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 notification so that kind of was not the exact idea of this video but it was like my setup tour which i anyway wanted to make at some point i guess every linux nerd wants to do something like that at some point so here it is so thank you for watching if you have any questions about stuff i probably can answer that maybe i will have the dot files um, published soon maybe and yeah so if you liked the video leave a like maybe a comment and subscribe for more videos like this i would also be really really grateful for a tap so anyway thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.